Ohio and Kentucky today setting records for daily cases. Ohio over 2000 for the first time ever in the Commonwealth. There are 1300 new cases and we're not alone. The surge is happening in more than two thirds of the country. And tonight it means there are new travel restrictions. Indiana is one of eight states now on Ohio's advisory list. If you go into Ohio from any of those states, you are advised to self quarantine. Good evening, everyone. The difference between now and the summer surge hospitalizations are increasing this time. So that means this isn't just the result of more testing. Local 12's Walter Smith Randolph kicks off our coverage tonight. Jerry Woods and Miracle Huntley say since the coronavirus pandemic began, they've been doing their part, but they realize not everyone agrees. Wear your mask, wash your hands, don't be in crowds. You know, people are just disregarding that. They don't care. Nicole Watson says it's not that she doesn't care. She just doesn't believe the hype. I think it's baloney. I really do. I think, yes, it, it, it is a something to be cautious about and, and would be wary of, uh, just like a flu virus. It's a virus. And so it's going to work its way out. But health experts like Tiffany Mattingly say the virus is not working its way out. You know, down here in Southwest Ohio, we've we've been continuing to watch our hospitalizations climb as well, and we're kind of we're we're nearing where we were in July, which was our kind of our experience of our summer surge. Oh wow, that's crazy. So yeah, that just means people are like totally falling off of what they've been told. Mattingly calls it COVID fatigue. Folks getting pretty tired of the mask wearing, the social distancing, letting their guard down a little more than usual as um, you know, we saw things start to taper down over the summertime. I know I'm tired of it, but I'm still do it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not tired of not tired of a, a nice well-being, so yeah, I'm going to do what I got to do to stay healthy. As, as easy as this virus can get out of control, it can be contained with the social distancing, the mask wearing, the hand washing, just everyone really kind of doubling down on their due diligence. But that may be difficult to do when everyone isn't on the same page. I don't think it's something that people should be like just hysterical about. It's just, it's, it's funny. It's silly. Have some heart for those that are around you. You know, if you don't care about yourself, that's one thing, but we got a whole like public to take care of. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. The experts at the Health Collaborative say they're not seeing a spike with a specific age or demographic. Rather, the spikes are genuine community spread.